Hey basketball players, today I am going to be breaking down Isaac Okoro's basketball defense and also give you some tips on how you can be a great defender like Isaac Okoro. Really quickly, I think he is going to be one of the top draft picks this year, at least somewhere in the first round, mainly because of his defense. His offense really wasn't showcased during the NCAA games this year. However, his defense is stellar. Let's get down and let's check out Isaac Okoro. Okay, so number 23 right here is Isaac Okoro. And in this first clip, he does a fantastic job on the help side defense. Of course, this player got beat getting a ball, the ball driven towards the rim. And of course, a help side defender on this side came. And then Isaac Okoro came as well. Now, what he has done here is extremely smart. He let this player come in to try and take that charge. Meanwhile, he knows that he has two players on this side who he also needs to guard even though this player is attacking the rim. So what does Isaac do? Number one, he stands in front of the other team's center and close enough so that there's no alley-oop possibilities. He has pretty much taken away any passing lane to this man but he is still in the passing lane at the same time to this player. If this man has to pass over here, he cannot do a straight line pass. Isaac's going to pick it off. He needs to do a lob pass, and because Isaac Okoro is not sticking to this guy, but instead has an, a lane out to number two over here, to be able to block the shot or at least close out on that player so that that player is unable to shoot the ball or at least get a drive to the rim. This is very smart defense, 100% I give to him here. And then as we can see in this clip when that player tries to pass he doesn't know where to pass to and he just basically turns over the ball. After that turnover does happen and he the ball comes the other way, of course he gets that ball, now he's running in a 3-on-1, 3-on-2 type situation, 3-on-1 I'll call it, and instead of passing to this man, he decides to pass to this player who has an absolute open lane towards the basket, and because that player gets that ball in as a perfect pass, that is almost perfect, this player has nothing that he can do, he's not running back at all until now, that player now has an open dunk, and that's all from the defense of Isaac Okoro right here. He gets that ball and then gets it down the court, down to the middle of that court, and bang, slam, dunk. That is what you are looking for from a great defender. Now this is another great play. He is playing his man straight up. He is not forcing that man one way or the other. He is playing him straight up from there. What he does, as soon as that player starts to try and drive on him, instead of taking a step back, what Isaac Okoro does is takes, takes a quick hop, lands on his toes to get a quick push, and then he's able to keep up without crossing his feet. Notice that? His feet never crossed. He took that quick step, but they never crossed. He was able, until there, he didn't cross his feet, which is good because now he's getting in front of that player. And he's able to contest that shot, or what kind of was a shot, I wouldn't call that a shot attempt. The other thing that Isaac Okoro does extremely well is he keeps that hand up. That way, this player knows that he's not going to be able to get into prime position for a layup. And also, he's cutting off a pass to this man and this man by keeping that arm up. This is great defense, and you can do this type of defense as well. You know what really messes up another team? Right here. This is one of those plays that just absolutely screws with the other team. So we have Isaac Okoro playing extremely tight defense on this player. I personally think Isaac Okoro is going to be going to a team that's looking for a lockdown defender. And to be honest, if he slips down to a Toronto Raptors draft pick, I would not be surprised if they picked him up. And from there, he is able to close out. 
he stays tight, knows that push is coming, uses that push, pushes off of his toes at the same time, absorbs that push into his toes, which gives him more power to push off. And then he's able to close out. That player cannot swing that ball. We, they cannot swing that ball and get a cut through the baseline. And because of that, that screws with the other team. And now the other team is now basically resorted to just driving towards the rim because they don't want to run out of time on the shot clock. And of course, that's what happens. Now in this next play is another great example. He's playing super tight on this man. They're doing a quick elbow pin down screen and he's able to fight around that screen and stay super close knowing that this player's momentum is pushing him in that direction so that he is now trying to stay with him pushing off of his right leg taking a massive big step with his left while still not crossing his feet when he needs to stop he does a quick hop when he needs to stop and then he takes a hop forward just so that he can stay with his feet not crossed notice that he is not crossing his feet this player tries to cross here it's just a quick hop back and then he's able to stay with that player this is great defense never cross your feet if you do it has to be at last resort and he is able to stay with that player and that player does not have a shot opportunity at all really but it still somehow makes it in so here he is trailing his man he is coming off of a massive screen from the big man up top and he obviously wants to stay with his man but because of the 11 seconds left on the shot clock he has probably a good idea that this man wants to try and get to the rim now because of that this man comes out his teammate to try and take a charge but if you have been around the game of basketball for any amount of time you know that whether or not there's a charge there this guy who's driving at full speed is going to try and cut around him or try to shoot over top of him and what happens here is that man goes up to try and contest that shot but because he's able to get a little bit of body and go straight up with that defense Isaac Okoro is able to then sky up over top and block the living world out of that shot and that is what you need to do whether or not you guys call switch if there's a guy your man driving towards the rim even though there's a charge coming up waiting to happen you need to elevate over top if you can and block that shot i hope that this video has helped you become a better defender if it has hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time